ago, guys, Thursday, four down there, one to go. Short week. I hope everybody had a safe and wonderful and blessed 4th of July. I, I wasn't going to make a video until training camp. Um, I was just kind of taking a break, you know, because there's really nothing to really talk about uh, as far as the Dallas Cowboys is concerned. But y'all know me. I don't make a video unless I'm really concerned about the Dallas Cowboys. And uh, today, about 41 minutes ago, I just found that I read an article and uh, I just found out the Dallas Cowboys have signed a USFL kicker, Brandon Aubrey. Uh, was in the USL for about two years. Let me read this article real quick so you can get a better understanding of this kid. Uh, the Cowboys have signed Brandon Arbery, and he will take part in Dallas Cowboys training camp uh, this season. Arbery was a 2022 All-USFL kicker in his first season with the Birmingham Stallions. In the 2023 USFL season, Arbery went 14 of 15 on field goals and converted all 35 of his extra point attempts. At the end of the last season, making extra points for Dallas was a, was a challenge for Brett, for kicker Brett Maher in the Dallas wildcard playoff win against Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Maher missed four straight extra points. Maher had his lone extra point attempt in the divisional playoff block. The San Francisco 49ers beat Dallas 19-12. We all remember that, don't we? Maher did, didn't resign with the Dallas Cowboys, even though his 137 points in the 2022 regular season were a franchise record. Dallas declined the chance to sign another accomplished veteran or draft a kicker. Don't know why. Guys, um, we've made a lot of moves this offseason. Um, but the special teams, uh, the kicker position has been really neglected for a long time. Uh, we've been bouncing back with Maher. You know, Maher's been pretty good for us. Uh, but Maher is one of those kickers. He can seem to make the long ones but miss the short ones. He had a real problem with the close extra points uh, attempts. And I just didn't understand it. I don't know if it was a mental thing. See, kicking is mental. Kicking is mental. Um I learned that from Coach Jimmy Johnson back in the day. Uh, we had a kicker. He explained we had a kicker uh, that was um, was supposed to be our kicker. And he was missing extra points in practice. You know, Jimmy Johnson would put him in different situations uh, in training camp, and he was just missing them. And uh, Jimmy Johnson said, uh, uh, hey, man, what, what's the problem? Everything okay? And um, he told Coach Johnson, he said, man, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm just, I'm losing my confidence. I just, I, I don't know. He said, I was making them at first, but now I'm missing them. But I'm just, I'm just losing. I just lack the confidence. I'm losing my, my fire. And Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson said, oh, that's all I need to hear. You know, so we cut him and got another kicker. So, <laughs> and I think that's when they signed Chris Bonio, I'm not mistaken. But um, kicking, um, is, is is mental once you once it, that negativity gets in your head and once they start missing that first kick and that second kick you know it's <laughs> it's a wrap you know i've learned that you know through the years um there just hasn't been any solid kickers you know um there has been for other teams but not dallas uh i remember back in the day not having to worry about extra points and, and field goals. I remember walking away from my television um, because it was so automatic, you know, getting something to drink or something like that when it was time to kick the extra point. Or even when it was, at, at some cases, a, a, a 30 to, you know, 40 yard field goal. I just, I didn't worry about it. That was something I didn't worry about. And uh, now it's just so different. I don't know what's wrong with these kickers. I don't know if it's, you know, they don't care. They just don't want to pay them or, you know, or what the deal is, but we just has, haven't had a consistent kicker in a long, long time. And um, that's uh, as long as we got special teams, 
uh, we need a kicker. We need a, a guy that can get in there that's solid and uh, that can get in there and kick field goals. That's, that's all you do. And it might be easier said than done. Trust me. Because, hell, I can't. I never could kick a damn field goal. So what am I to, who, who am I to talk about it? What am I to say? You know, what do I know? But uh, I've seen great kickers growing up, you know, even not just for the Dallas Cowboys, for, but for other teams. You know, these guys were solid kickers. You could depend on them. You didn't have to worry about them. Uh, what, what was that guy that for, for Green Bay uh, in 2016 that was very clutch? What was his last name? Crosby? Uh, he was so clutch. And, uh, you know, they, that, that was the field goal that beat us in 2016, you know. Uh, when when Aaron Rodgers, when we didn't have a pass rush, and Aaron Rodgers, you know, scrambled out to the to the left, and they number eighty eight that tight end caught that ball, uh, that sideline tiptoe catch, and which knocked us out of the playoffs, and that was one of our best seasons when we got Dak and and Zeke, the rookie seasons, and um, um, he kicked that ninety yard field goal, and it. Curved to the left, and then it, the heavens opened up and blew the ball, and it went through the upright. So um, that was devastating at the time, but they could depend on their kicker to win the game and, and advance them even further in the playoffs. Um, but we just we just need a kicker, man. I don't care who it is. Uh, uh, I would like somebody kind of solid, and uh, I thought we were going to sign like a veteran guy that knew what he was doing, but. Uh, Apparently, this kid is supposed to be pretty good. You know, he played, you know, professional soccer for a little bit as well. So, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we got two to choose from, so uh, we don't really know anything about. But I just don't know why. What, what's what's going wrong with the kicker position, and why is it such a uh, uh, why is it such a mystery now? Why is it so hard to kick field goals and be consistent at it and make field goals? Um, I don't know. Uh, Dallas Cowboys need to uh, really, as long as, like I just said, as long as the special teams exist, you need a kicker. And obviously, we've been having to depend on our kickers for so long. That that's the real problem. Let me let me let me hit you under the belt. That's the real issue: having to depend on our kickers and put them in fucked up situations and having and expecting them to make. 70, 80, 90 yard fucking field goals because our offense can't nickel and dime up the field consistently and get in the red zone and score. That's been the problem. That's why Maher had so many points last season because we had to depend on our kicker. That's a problem. We shouldn't have to depend on our kicker. Your kicker is the last fucking resort. So, uh, it's been our offense that's been the real problem. When you have to depend on and worry about who's going to be your kicker, that means something isn't going right with the offense. Hello. I shouldn't even be making a video about a damn kicker. Like, really? A kicker, guys. The guys barely wear pads. They come out there in, 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 in a jock strap and a uniform and, and some the smallest shoulder pads you can find and a, 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 a helmet with one bar on it. So I'm not saying they don't matter. God bless them. But we shouldn't have to depend on a kicker. Yeah. So let's see how far this offense can take us without having to depend on a kicker. The kicker shouldn't even be an issue. The kicker shouldn't be put in those fucking situations. That's been the problem. That's the real problem. That's the real issue. We put these kickers, the Dallas Cowboys, with this with this fucked up ass offense, put these kickers in the fucked up situations and expect them to work a miracle. And they can't. They haven't been able to. Bottom line. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section. I really would like to hear your feedback because that's my two cents on that on this subject. A damn kicker. Wow. 
Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holler back at your boy. Amen.